Okay, we're here. Only about eight hours late. Anybody watching this on the day? Sorry, the video is late. The power switch in my PC went out and randomly turned off and on my PC for no reason. So now I have no power switch. Junior just turned it on and ripped the switch out. So if the power goes out and I lose power to my PC, well, I'll never turn it back on again. Anyways, here's what we're doing today. We are making a cocoa because we need a coke oven and the first thing we need to do to make this coke oven is make clay dust and that is why we made the mortar because with the mortar we can make clay dust we did it for other reasons but this is the primary reason we need it right now because to make clay dust you need to ignore that one have a sifter with some kind of clay ore you're not going to find that a squeezer with some kind of ore crop you're not going to find that hammer a clay ore you're not going to find that centrifuge is going to give you refined clay ore this is a new thing greg has added where if you look up a dust it will show you any type of dust this is something he might want, he might need to fix because uh, clay, this might confuse somebody that doesn't know that there is no clay dust, but I doubt he will. Cutting up crap or hey, look, there's what we need. You can just take the ball, stick it on the mortar. You can also use your shredder as well, but well, we don't have a shredder yet. So we're doing each ball individually on a mortar and as you can see make sure you have food when you're doing this the mortar being a manual powered machine it takes hunger to do so so now we just need to put these out around the outside around the outside around the outside a water bucket in the center and then we can pull our fire bricks out. As you can see, the water bucket is filling itself automatic. Uh, for anybody that hasn't seen it, we have a water pipe running here from the drain that is in the river. And then it goes into a barrel, which is open. Let me get my wrench here. So the pipe is open to the barrel. The X shows the open side. And then the barrel itself is set to will fill adjacent tanks, which is what we need. Because this is not, there's no tank technically in this tank table, but the bucket when it's in the table is considered the tank. So it will fill it now you need to do the barrel underneath or beside or behind any of those will work because you have to have 1000 liters of water to fill a bucket and the huge water pipe the huge wooden pipe that we're using uh, let's just look up pipe if we look at a huge wooden pipe it only has a bandwidth of 600 so it can only move from one place to another in a tick 600 liters so we need a reservoir for it to fill and we're taking from the reservoir now there is huge treated that is 900 still not quite what we need we need a thousand Technically, if you wanted to go this route, um, you would need something along the line of huge copper the whole way out here. Way easier to just do wood and a barrel. Now, if for some reason you go really fast, like I should be able to pull about 16 of these out at a time, and then it will not fill, 
Oh, we ended up getting it. But just give it a second, it will fill. It just has to get more water in. But there is our fire bricks, which if we look up the Coke oven, it says in the tooltip that it is a 3x3x3 three by three by three hollow structure of 25 fire bricks filled with air. That just means you need a hollow 3x3. Three three. That's what the fill with air means. Um, the main block centered on the side and facing outward. So it's a 26 block structure. One of the blocks needs to be this. So this is our next recipe. We need to get that made. And so we need three rods and a plate and two screws. So we're gonna take our bolts here that I already poured and turn those into screws. And as you will notice here, as I build this, a few things I have are iron and a few of them are wrought iron. And this does not matter. It can be iron, wrought iron, or steel does not matter. So now we need a hammer and a screwdriver. So we'll put our, put our screwdriver down there. We'll grab our hammer off the anvil. We'll put that up there. That will give us our controller. Put our tools away. And now we will go outside and I prefer Coke, please. Apparently they don't like Pepsi. So, um, yeah, let's go inside to look at the quest book part. Don't want to deal with a zombie at the moment. So if we go in here and we go to Steam Age, there is our Coke oven. Gives you exactly what you need. And it looks like it tells you pretty much everything it needs right there. So give me my cookie. And that unlocks our treated wood. That'll be the next thing that we can work on, is making some treated wood, which we could take all of our pipes out if we wanted to get a little extra bandwidth and turn them into treated, but I'm not really gonna worry about that. It does have to be nighttime, so I gotta fight all the things. Because for some reason, there are zombies everywhere on this little island. Alright, so we're just going to build this, like, right here. I will end up with two of these. Uh, two usually keeps me going for what I need. So we will have a second one of these here soon. There we go. That is our Coke oven. Built and ready to go. And since this is our first multi-block structure, let me make a new glass lens here. I need to find a flawless gem. I was sorting my stuff the other day, and this is all the gems I currently have. Um, but I need to find a flawless one to make a magnifying glass out of because the durability on a glass one is really low. I took two of them out looking for ores and broke them rather quickly. Huh? Alright, so you right click it and it says produce whenever there is space except input on all input slots. Auto fluid output is enabled and the structure is formed correctly. So that is done. And I need to make a couple more. Oh, I got them right here. A couple hoppers. So any block on the top of this is an input. So should, in theory, be able to take a 
this purified coal right here and put this into said hopper and it should go in but it doesn't because it literally has to be the top of the block not the top layer that's considered the side of the structure so we're going to climb up on top here and I'll show you here you can do it over here but just because I'm difficult I like it in the center so that's where I will put it any of these nine slots blocks whatever you want to call it can take it as long as it is on the top of the structure same for output any of the nine on the bottom can be your output so we're going to take a wooden barrel we're going to put it right there and we need to give this thing a light this unlike other structures because it is considered completely contained the door shuts on it you do not have to worry about it catching anything outside of its radius on fire um, so you don't have to worry about using a wooden barrel for that and as you will see in the tool tip here it says poke oven up to 16 times process per run so it will do 16 at the same time it will do them depending on the amount you have in there if you have one in there it'll run faster than if you have 16 um, so you're not really saving yourself on time you're just processing them in bulk so it's not adding to the world kick basically i guess but it's really nice because it runs um these run way faster than just about any other i normally run if i'm playing with say rotary craft or rail craft coke ovens i used to make like 16 of them to be able to keep up with the amount of charcoal or cocoa that i can make in two of these that's why i make two is because two of them are good enough and as you will see when this gets done outputting here in a second it will automatically output and put it into our barrel and the next thing we need to do is we need to give it an output for its fluid which i need to make another wooden hammer because i just broke mine So we need planks. I don't know why I thought I needed beams. We need planks. We need our hand drill. And is it a file? Oh, it's, an, it's an axe, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. He changed this recipe and it takes me forever to remember. Alright, so we need that and that. And then should be oops uh, no dumbass it's a saw what do you think I know it's one of these two ways there we go it only take me an hour to get this right all right so this thing should be done which it is and there is our creosote now we're going to go under on this side and we're going to put that right there and open it up and then you'll see that some of that creosote is gone because it is now in our pipe so with that we can take a bathing pot which I'm just going to use the one I have right here. I'll make another one later. And we 
can literally open that right there, stick that right there, and that is our creosote. So I can take four of these planks out there. I can stick them in here. That'll give me my four treated wood planks. And once I make the iron rod now, which I will save you guys from watching me do, I can now make the better wooden barrels. So you have, with the cheap wooden barrels, they can hold up to 5,000. You have lead, bismuth, bronze, and brass as options. Then you have your regular wooden barrel, which holds 10,000. And I guess this is a good time to bring this up. I'm sure it's going to come up many other times. There is a underscore in the number because Americans use a comma. And apparently in Europe, they use a decimal point. And Greg did not want to favor one or the other. So he just chose his own and put a underscore there so it breaks it up. It was really annoying to try to read numbers that were five, six, seven, eight digits long and all did all zeros and not have it broke up in some way. So that was done to make it easier for us, although it is very confusing for most because it's an underscore, not a comma or a decimal. But anyways, so the wooden item barrel holds 10,000 and that just needs any kind of iron or steel rod and treated wood. So for things like my limestone here that is completely full, I'm going to make a treated wood barrel with the, or a, uh, a better barrel for that. Now, you also have ironwood, which holds 10,000 as well, and is not flammable. But that requires you to get ironwood planks, which means either IC2 crop breeding to get the Greg Tech ironwood crop, or going to the twilight, which we may end up doing one or both of those in the future. But for right now, a flammable one is fine because I'll just keep it away from anything flammable. And then you also have the same thing with your cheap liquid barrels. You have bronze or lead, bismuth, brass, bronze, and then you have your treated wood and iron version. Difference being that the cheap ones hold eight buckets and the good one holds 16. And then the iron wood in this one holds 32. So it actually has more capacity than the better wooden one, unlike the capacity for items. So keep that in mind. But we can, and you'll notice that in here, we have chunks of coal coke. So if we look at coal, you can run crushed coal in a coke oven and it will give you a coke oven brick you can run purified coal ore which will give you five chunks or yeah five chunks so it gives you a little bit better if you wash it so you should wash it um, you can still do the normal coal item and it will give you one cold coat item but I would suggest choosing what you do because some of them will stack some of them won't like this cold coat will not stack in the barrel down here see if I go and I'll just show you here I have 27 of them here, and if I go throw them in and light it up, 
As you can see, it did 16 at a time, so it's going to run for a minute. And you'll see that it's going slower than when it did 10. Um, but it will get stuck in the hopper and not go into here. But if I take uh, eight of these out of here, I only needed four, but I turned them into the brick. And then if we just take the barrel out a second and put it back in, we put in the brick, all of the chunks will go and automatically make a brick. And we can also do that if we come in here and we take nine of these and we make a block of coal coat bricks. We can break this again. Put this down here, put it in. And now it took everything I had, the chunks, the bricks, and they are stored inside. So depending on how you want to use it, how you want to store it, that's what you use. But you cannot do this into there. It will get stuck in the hopper behind it. So keep that in mind. Uh, we, for my playthrough here, I will be making some item pipes because hoppers can interact with item pipes. You can input to a item pipe uh, from a hopper, so we will use them and we'll just make multiple barrels. And uh, we'll have one for charcoal, one for cold coke bricks, one for cold coke items. Uh, we'll also have lignite because that's the next thing I want to show you here in just a second. So you can also do the refined coal ore, which will give you six chunks. So if you have a centrifuge, you definitely want to run your coal through that before you put it into your coke oven. Now, once you get to the dust, you're out of luck. You cannot put dust in there to make any kind of cold coat. That's why I do not do the sifter because you can run, if we look at our purified here, you can run this through a sifter, which will give you 45% chance of dust, 36% chance of coal, 18, 13.5, 3.6, 0 0.9, and 0.09%. So you may get more total output if you're looking at coal itself by sifting it. It all depends on your luck of RNG. But if you look at it over the potential energy gotten from it, You'll go, you're going to get a lot more as dust than you will as items that you won't be able to make into coke. So I have at least found that it is better to skip the sifting and just turn it all into coke in the coke oven. Now, lignite you can also do. So if you look at... Um, where is the charcoal lignite here we go so lignite in a coke oven will give you a lignite coke brick so basically the same thing as the regular coke except it's an entirely different item so you will definitely need a different material to do this with um why is the purified oh i hit charcoal again that got it there we go. So you'll see that gives the chunks. Same exact output. Although, and let's see, I think the lignite might actually give more uh, creosote. Creosote from one coal gives 500 
and creosote from one lignite gives 750. So if you're wanting creosote more than solid fuel, lignite is your way to go. If you want more solid fuel, then you want coal. And then, of course, you also have charcoal. So if we look at charcoal in the Coke oven, you put in your logs, you get a charcoal item out. And there is tons of those that you can do. You can also put beams in. So if you want to strip your wood before you put it in, you can do that as well. You get 300 liters of creosote from a beam. And I do believe this is no matter what wood it is. And you get 350 liters if you do the wood itself. So you do get a extra 50 liters of creosote if you leave the bark on the wood. Um, one major thing is willow is actually a special wood. This is uh, something that Greg kind of borrowed from TFC is that if you put a willow log in, you actually get two charcoal per log and 500 liters of creosote. That's why I have a willow tree right there. Because if I'm going to make charcoal, which is a good chance, I will at some point, I will be using willow to do so. Get rid of this jerk. Alright, so this has turned off. We have our creosote. We have no item in there. And if we come down here, right there is our 27 coal coat. So it does not go in there. But if you take, really, there's another one of these guys. Just jump inside. If you take these and put them in your crafting grid, you can turn them into bricks. So if you use a auto crafter, which we do have, the uh, build craft auto crafters in this pack, there they are. So you can use one of these if you choose, or if you don't want to use something outside of Greg's deck, uh, there is a auto crafter from Greg Tech. Only problem is, it takes EU to do so, so it's not something you're going to be able to do early on. Which is why I will just make two different barrels, have one for cocoa in the item form, and one in the brick form. Now, this should be possible. I've actually never tried this because I've never needed my to store my coke more than 10,000 of them at a time. But let's actually try this and see if it will work. It should, in theory. So if we put the block in there. And it does. So, if you want to store it as blocks, you can do it as well. I personally am going to just change mine over to bricks. I'm going to do the same with the block. And we're going to store them all as bricks. Now, later, I'm going to change them over to chunks and we'll get into why that is then and why I do so at that time but I am now going to this weekend go and dig up a whole bunch of lignite and regular coal so we can start getting a whole bunch of creosote made and a whole bunch of coal coke made uh, one reason is because the next thing that I need to make 
is a tank. We're going to make a wooden tank, which is another 3x3 three three structure. And for it, it needs treated wood. So I need 26 blocks times 4. So 104 treated wood. It's not going to be too difficult to do. But then we can take the creosote that we're getting from here, store it in a tank, and then output it wherever we need to which will actually be for powering our crucible. That'll be another update uh, or another change that we're going to be doing soon is powering this off of creosote. That way we can turn it on and off quicker than by having to flip a lever. But that is going to be it for today. Um, next, we're going to work on making a thermo sensor for the crucible. Because that's going to be our next bit for automation. For automating a crucible, we basically need two things. We need a liquid or gas fuel. We have that with our creosote now. And we need a way to sense the temperature of the crucible and tell it when to either pour or when to shut it off. So if we look in the book here and go back to Stone Age, that was the last quest that we have here. We need to make an alloy. We need to make red alloy. And that will be used to make this, the thermo sensor. So we're going to work on these three quests in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to stick them, hit the buttons, do the things, and I will see y'all next time.